I think we're going to have a good blend of experience and youth. Um, starting at the back, we have uh, very solid goalkeeping in uh, a senior in Grace Barnard. Our back four is another uh, experienced unit with Katie Winsper and Caitlin O'Connor at centre backs, and then Diana Weigel, who was a CAA Defensive Player of the Year at left back, Kirsten Hart, right now. They're all going to be challenged by some of the incoming players. Midfield is very solid with players such as Brittany Lane, who's going to be a one of our tri-captains this year. Up front, we're going to be looking for goals from uh, Aaron Liberator, who had, uh, who's our leading goal scorer as a freshman, and um, hoping that she's going to increase on her total from last year. Well, Grace Barnard um, right now is our starting goalkeeper. Grace started last season. She is a very good keeper, regional caliber goalkeeper. She's going to be challenged even more this year by Carla Manger who did really well on our trip to Europe and also during the spring and Catherine Yount. Both of them have the kind of tools needed to challenge Grace for that starting position but Grace will be the first choice and it's up to her to keep it and it's up to the other two to win it. The back four is um, a unit and the more that unit plays together without being disrupted, the better it becomes. They just get to know each other better and they understand each other. I think that Katie Winsper and Caitlin O'Connor are both tri-captains and seniors. They're very experienced. They've both started since they were freshmen. So they'll be at the heart of the defense. Then uh, at right back, Kirsten Hart had a very, very good freshman year. He's very athletic. And I think she, again, she's benefited a lot from the experience she got. Diana is just one of those players. She can play anywhere. She's very, very skillful. She can go forward comfortably. She's got great ball control, but is a very, very good defender as well. And obviously was the CAA Defensive Player of the Year. Brittany Lane will be a, another tri-captain and uh, is one of those players who there's often a bit of a cliche that a player covers every blade of grass on the field. If we have such a player, it's Brittany. She really is all over the place. She gets forward to, to support the attack. She gets back and covers her left back and her right back. Um, very, very important player to us. Also in midfield, Mallory Schaefer is a regional player. Uh, very strong, wins the ball in the air, wins it on the ground. I think Mallory could score more goals and that's one thing I'll be asking of her is that she gets forward a bit more and scores more. Uh, alongside her we have players such as Cortland Bristol who was Mallory's teammate with the regional team and Cortland is one of the most creative players we have. She was dogged by injury during her freshman year but I'm uh, expecting her to come back in great shape. Erin Liberator is one of those players that, uh, I say this kindly, although it might not sound kind, she's one of those players that I'm not sure what she's gonna do when she gets the ball. And I like that because if I don't know, then my opponent doesn't know. Erin um, is very explosive, she's very strong. Uh, she was, um, she'll be a sophomore, so obviously she had a, a freshman year, that she started well, then hit a bit of a plateau in the middle of the season, but ended up as our leading goal scorer and is a very, very dangerous player. Danielle Axenfeld can play in midfield or can play up front. And uh, Chief, as she is known, is a very good player at holding up the ball. We can, You can hit a ball into Chief when she's under pressure and she has the ability to hold it and link up with the other players getting forward to support her. Um, again, there are players coming in that are going to be challenging and other players here, but the main strike force is going to be those two players. Well, uh, I was Al Albert's assistant when I first came here, and, uh, and that was a lot of fun. Al is a great coach and I learned more from him than I learned from any coaching course anywhere. Um, I also coached the women in those early days when it was a club team, that was in 1979 and 1980. When I wasn't working with the men, I'd go and do sessions with the women. Then in 81, the program began with uh, John Charles as the head coach. And um, once he had found his way, he asked me to come and help him out again when I had spare time. And I really enjoyed working with them. Then John decided that he had had enough of 
especially recruiting, he didn't want to go out on the road and I don't mind going out on the road and looking for talent. So John asked me if I would be interested in taking it over. And I had a choice between coaching men and coaching women. Uh, women are much better looking than men, so uh, I just thought, uh, you know, I might be better suited to coaching women. And uh, I've never regretted it. I've been very, very fortunate to have some wonderful, wonderful women come through the program. Now I have their daughters coming to camp. With regards to the longevity, um, I think both Al and I had opportunities to go elsewhere during our time, but there's something about Williamsburg and about William and Mary that is really special. Uh, the buildings are buildings, the people are people, but when you put them all together, it's just one of the most wonderful places. My name is John Daly, head women's soccer coach, and I'm a member of one tribe. Oh, 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 oh,